Hi, it's Nicky Lesbatch tonight, and tonight I'm going to install Skype in Puppy 4.3.1. Now, I know I've done this before, but we'll update it a bit and make it a bit fresher, and I'll sound better anyway. Well, first, what you need to do is go to puppylinux.asia or puppylinux.ca to get your Skype pup, basically, or your pet file. Now I've downloaded it and put it in my documents. Now I've downloaded the static version. There is another one, but I find the static actually works better. So you single click it and just say yes, that's OK to install that package. We click OK and it starts doing a bit of work for us. There we go. It's been installed. OK. Brilliant. So uploads and updates a bit. Now this bit could take a little bit of time and it may not. Doing it from Puppy on a Stick again, so it's also a little 2 gig USB stick, which is cool for me. And while we wait for this, which should be finished in a momento, he says expectantly, there we go, it's all installed. We can now close that down, we'll go down to menu, and we'll scroll up to internet, and there you see our little Skype icon. Lovely. Click on Skype. One, two, three, there we go. You can read through it, but if you've got Skype on other machines, you know what it says. Click on Accept. Now you put on your Skype name. Now, I've already got one. If you haven't, just click on the link that says Get a Skype name, basically, and it'll set it all up for you. So you put your name and a password in. There we go, nice medium-sized one. Click Sign In. Now, sometimes this can take a long time. Sometimes it can be immediate. It all depends on your net connection at the time, I think, more anything else. But after a little wait, you'll find it'll come up just like this. There we go. Now, I don't actually use this account hardly at all. But anyway, I've still got my quid free calling credit, or dollar, wherever you are in the world. They give you a bit of free calling credit, and it's quite easy to use. To make a call, which I'm going to do a Skype test call, you just click on the green button. Now, I've not actually configured the audio to come on the video on this at minute, well, from Puppy on the Stick, so bear with me on that one. But basically, what you'll hear is uh, somebody speaking to you, recorded message. That means, obviously, that part of the uh, audio is working. And then it'll ask you to speak into the microphone. Then, after about 20 seconds, it will play it back to you. If you can hear them and yourself, you're good to go. So, easy, easy, easy peasy. If we click on the Skype icon down there and go into Options, obviously if you've got Skype you've seen all this before, but if you haven't, let's have a little look through. You get General and Privacy, Notifications, Chat, SMS you have to pay for and put your own mobile number in, so when you text somebody it comes up like that. Voicemail and call forwarding you have to pay for with their credit. Sound devices, mine are all default obviously, and you can test the sound and make a test call from here, but as mine's already set up fine, I'm not going to worry about that. Then you get video devices. I've not actually put a uh, video camera on it yet to try this one, so I couldn't tell you if that works or not, but people say it does. But that's enough on that anyway. So there's your Skype. Once you close the box, it's still running, so if anybody does make you a call, it will come through. No problem at all. So what if you're having trouble with your audio? Well, what do you do? You go down to Multimedia, up to your Alsa Mixer, and this is where you can change all your volumes. So look, my audio is all on full on that one. My mic is right down the other end because I'm not using the front mic socket. So we'll scroll down there, all the way down at the other end. And there you can see it's partially shaded. So I think that's where Skype has actually auto set all the levels in my mic for Skype calls, which is cool. But if it doesn't work for you, do it manually and see how that goes. Now on the whole, this works really, really well. And if you're used to using Skype and you need Skype on Puppy, this is the one for you to get. Now I'm not going to do this video again, so this will be the last one, unless obviously they change Skype and Puppy changes dramatically in that time. So anyway, Sneaky Linux going out to play. See you later.